Hello again and welcome back to Super Mario All-Star. So we're going to be playing Super Mario Bros. 2, the direct sequel to the first Super Mario Bros. Although, you may not know this, but it's not the official Mario game. In fact, we're not playing the real Mario game at all, and I will explain why. But for now, let's get into this. Super Mario Bros. 2. Let me see how the story is so far. When Mario opens a door after climbing a long stair in his dreams, another world spread before him and the hear his voice call him up. Ah, I didn't read that part. After awaken, Mario went to a cave nearby and to his surprise he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Well, that was a story that I didn't know of. So right off the bat, we have different characters to play. Mario, his brother Luigi, Toad, and the Princess Toadstool. They have different abilities, like for instance, Mario can do, well, just nothing. But Luigi can jump higher, Toad can pull heavy object real fast, and the Princess can float when she jumps. Very different abilities. So let's get into Mario. First world. And as you can see, we are playing as Mario. And we got ourselves some new enemy. So again, this is actually, and I already died. Or not, I just got health taken away. But as you can see, we're playing in a different unique thing or something like that so the health on the upper left side indicates that you have to get a mushroom and the good thing is there's no timer and you can pick up some items like I said before and new enemies are there like these guys up there for example are called shy guys the one with the hockey mask and there's some cherry let me just pick it up so like i said you're not playing a mario game at all it's a very completely well it's hard to explain because you're playing a different game in the united states the actual game is called pokey pokey panic I think that's what it's called. So I picked up a potion, and you can use it to go into different world. Well, not exactly different world, but it opens a doorway. And there's the mushroom. Gives you extra life. And if you pick up these coins from the ground, you can just see why. And we got ourselves a pile box. Well, at least I killed most of the enemies. Yeah. Come on. Very nice that they decided to get rid of the timer so you can roam around freely. And I got a life. One up. And a bomb. A shell. So basically if you pick up all the cherries, at least at least five, you can summon the star and I picked up a timer so yeah if you just jump down or hold down you can jump higher that was a close one let me just use this bomb 
on him, at least. Well, I couldn't get to her because it just leaves you to the boss fight. But that's fine, we'll find another way. So, based on the actual game that exists in Japan, this focus on the story of the other game, focus on a boy and his family trying to save their sister, their baby brother and sister, from Wart, a new enemy or antagonist. So probably they just changed that into something different. And these guys here are called ninjis. Not ninjas, with the A at the end. Almost there at the end. And we found ourselves the mini boss at the end of the level. Birdo. It's pretty simple, all you have to do is just grab the egg that she's spitting and throw it back at her. Very simple, and she drops a crystal ball where this thing is, the ego door, whatever it is, opens for you, and you're in the new level. So the coins I was talking about when you pick them up, it gives you a bonus game, a slot. So if you match all three at the same, you get an extra life. But strangely, you can just get a extra life just for random things. I'm gonna see if I can try to do that. Almost there. Nope. So it has to be on the cherry first. Close, but no cigar. There we go. See, it doesn't matter if it's doesn't match because if it reaches to the cherry, the first one, then it kind of counts. And we got one more. Alright, let's play as Mario again. Let me just grab this over there because there's nothing over. You're gonna have to fly over there. What I'm trying to say. So nice that I have more time to get the mushroom. And these vase that I just enter almost look similar to the green pipes from the previous Mario game, but yeah, like I said, it's not the real Mario game that actually exists. Now there's a key. I wonder what that happens if I pick it up. 
a phantom mask comes chasing after me. And there's a lock in the door. And these enemies are called Sniffits. They just shoot. They're similar to the Shy Guy, but they have another mask that helps them shoot at you. Nice. And it's the first time that I made it into the door. And already we made it to the end of the stage with the same mini boss. It's just the same thing, repeat the same process and you make it through. What do you know, I made it with three matches. Nice. Lucky me! Now I have 12 lives. So let's try a different character. Toad. I'm sure he could do something different. So again, based on the different character I choose, they have their own unique ability. And it looks like Toad is just reading a book, doing that. You see how fast that I picked them up? It looks like everything is freezed up. Alright, so I have to start over again. Just to see where I do. Or at least try to find another mushroom. Well, that's fine, because... I just made it without it. And it doesn't matter if I get all four lives or heart shape or not. I could just make it through. Alright, let's see where this takes me. Let me just go up. messed up in that, but that's fine. Gotta pick up these things, mushroom, and stack them all up so I can get over there. And 
saying it's the same thing. This Phantope is summoned. So I'm gonna go all the way down there where whatever it takes me. same time, right? Messed up. Let me try this again. Oh, no, or not. So we made it to the end of the stage, but we found ourselves into our first boss. Just give me a moment. I was going to blow that guy up, but I don't think I have time. And there he is, the first boss. His name is Mauser. So he's throwing bombs at you. You're gonna have to throw it back to him. Very simple. But it takes a lot of time to get. Okay, that was a close one because I didn't pay any attention. At least three hits will take care of them. See what I mean? And already we finished them. First level. No luck. Yes, luck in that one. Oh, well, that's fine. So we're in our next world. So let's go back to Mario. And this is the desert world. Level 2. And we got ourselves the pyramids. And one of the snakes. Yeah, this is shaped as a funny face. I messed up in that one, so let's try it again. Perfect. Get out of there, you. There's the oasis. And the mushroom I'm picking up. I don't know, is an oasis something more like a water and a meadow in the middle of the desert with the puddle of water and all the bushes and trees? I don't know. So um, this part is full of quicksand, so I gotta be careful. As well as this guy shooting all the fire there we go nice trying so it looks like I'm gonna have to dig myself through this area Mm-hmm. 
This is gonna take a while. Eh, I messed up. But that's fine. Because he's dead. And we're done with this stage. Another boss, mini boss, excuse me. I'll take this, thank you. All right, so I have to skip that part, so. That's something I'm going to be doing for later on when I get enough coins, because it's just going to help me save time. Come on, you don't scare me. I think I'm going to be doing all of it because it's probably going to be the same thing. But just to be sure, I'm going to try to see if I can find anything in there. Some sort of pumpkin. That was a close one. Yeah, that's just going to be a waste of time, so I'm not going to pay attention to those. Oh look, a pokey. These giant cactuses. I don't know, but one of these things has a secret entrance, so I'm gonna have to use a bomb. This is my last one, I promise. Alright, yeah, that's good. Just ignoring you. I don't seem to be that talkative that much. There we go again.
me see if I can do this. Nope. Let's try this again. Nope, I'm out of here. Alright, so as you can see, this is a different kind of birdo. It shoots eggs, but it also shoots fire. So you're gonna have to take precaution by using this mushroom thing. Of course, I can just get the eggs still, but I can't tell if the fire is gonna pop out of her mouth. Simple. Very simple. So we're in our last stage of the second level. So we're going to have to try Princess Toadstool for this one. So let's see. As you, Well, actually, look at this. Whenever she jumps, just hold the button and she floats. Pretty helpful. So whenever I float over, when I do the super jump, she floats real high. And of course she picks up real slow. up in that. Let me see if I can get that star and take care of these guys so I can get my life hard. Or not. Let's go back to that area that I didn't check. Alright, this is going to be tough. Almost there. Something else, I don't know. Alright, let's see where this gets me. So you see that I didn't have any time to pick it up faster, all that stuff. Into this pyramid. Pow! Now I'm gonna have to go and dig my all the way to get that key. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. 
I should have picked up that star. Time to go. So whenever something like myself or an enemy just goes to this area, it just brings me back here. There we go. That enemy is a... dead. And this face is mad. That's fine. Probably the same thing for the next one. Yep. And we are done. So now we're in our second boss. And here it is. This character is named Triclops. A three-headed... Damn it. A three-headed snake. Just shoots fire. Very simple, just be careful not to get hit. Or I can just use these enemies. And I'm dead. Almost there, just one more. Let me see an enemy drop by. That's what I wanted to wa wait. I'm waiting for. <clears throat> I can't talk. But at least I'm done with this level. So everything is done. So let's get out of here. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to end this video. So sorry for the lack of dialogue and stutterness, but like always, I'll try my best. So thank you for watching my video. If there's anything you like about this content, be sure to leave a like or subscribe. And until then, I will see you again in the next video.